Welcome guys. Today I'll be solving for the unknown x using indices method. Now here we have 2 to the 2x minus 10 2 to the x plus 16 equals 0. Where I have 2 to the power 2x, I can rewrite it as 2 to the power x times 2. But I can also put a bracket and it still means that the power is 2x. It's coming from the laws of indices that says a to the m in bracket. Then we have n is equal to, if I switch the places, I have a to the power n m. So it doesn't matter if I switch the places for the power, it's still the same thing. So it means a n m is still the same thing so that's the rule that i'm applying here where 2 to the power 2x is the same thing as 2 to the power x in bracket all square so i can rewrite this as 2 to the power x all square and i'm still saying that this is 2 to the power 2x now we're going to use substitution method here because as you can see I have two brackets that has 2 to the power x and that's what we want. We want to have two brackets looking the same so I can replace it and then we'll see a quadratic. So we can assign 2 to the power x to be any letter and here I'll be choosing m to represent 2 to the power x. So let 2 to the power x equal m. Now I am going to substitute this in the above equation that I have. So where I have 2 to the power x. So the first part, it becomes m squared. Then this in the center, it becomes minus 10m plus 16 equal 0. Now we're going to factorize. If you know the shortcut method, that's fine. Others, we say it's what multiply to give us positive 16 and add to give the center, which is negative 10. So we need two numbers that multiply to give us 16 and add to give us negative 10. And those two numbers are negative 8 and negative 2. So now we're going to substitute the center with the two factors. So the center we rewrite as minus 8m and minus 2m plus 16 equal 0. So now we're going to have two groups. So I'll have m squared minus 8m to be the first group. And minus 2m plus 16 to be the next group. Now what can we factor out of the first group? It's m. And what is left inside? Divide all of what in the bracket by m. So we're left with m minus 8. Because we factor out an m. So the next bracket, we factor out negative 2. So within, we'll divide all of this by negative 2. So we'll have positive m. Negative 2 into positive 16, that's negative 8 equal 0. So we have m minus 2 and then we have m minus 8 equal 0. We're actually solving, so we have m minus 2, we're going to equate it to be equal to 0, and m minus 8 to be also equal to 0. So solving for this, we have m minus 2, so we carry the negative 2 over, so it becomes positive 2. The m minus 8 equals 0, so we carry over the negative 8 over the equal sign. So this also changed to become a positive 8. However, we're not solving for m, we're solving for x. We had assigned m to be 2 to the power x, so now we have to resubstitute. 
m to be 2 to the power x. So where I have m equal 2, so m equal 2, let me just write this. So m equal 2, replace m with 2 to the power x equal 2, and 2 is the same thing as 2 to the power 1. We know from laws of indices, bases are the same, so we drop the base and equate the powers to be equal, so x equal 1. We'll be doing the same thing here where we have m is equal to 8, replace m with 2 to the power x. And we're using laws of indices, so we change 8 to the same base, so it's 2 to the 3. Then we drop the base, so x is equal to 3. So that's it. Let's move to the next example. Here we have 9 to the power x minus 4 times 3 to the x plus 3 equals 0. Here the 9 to the power x is not looking like 3 to the power x, but we know from indices I can change the base. So 9 is the same thing as 3 squared. So I can have this as 3 to the power 2 in bracket, because 3 squared is 9, and then the x outside. Now I just want to change the position, remember I've explained, it doesn't matter, the position is still saying the same thing. So I can rewrite this as carrying the 2 outside and carrying the, the x within, so it becomes 3 to the power x and then 2 outside, which is all square. So remember I said this is the same thing, it's coming from the laws of indices. So I'll be replacing 9 to the power x with 3 to the power x all square. And here you have it, replacing the 9 to the power x. And everything else remain as is. The whole point of this is to get the 9 to the power x being the same base and looking just as the second bracket, which is 3 to the power x. Now that they're looking like the same, both brackets having the same thing, I can replace it with a letter. Now remember, we can use any letter. So I'm going to let 3 to the power x equal t. So replacing this, we have t squared. So minus 4 t, because we replace the 3x, plus 3 equal 0. So again, we have a quadratic, so we need two numbers that multiply to give us positive 3 and add to give us negative 4. So the two numbers are negative 3 and negative 1. So negative 3 times negative 1 gives us positive 3, and negative 3 plus negative 1 gives us negative 4. So these two factors, we're going to replace the center, minus 4t with the two factors. So I rewrite t squared, then we have minus 3t. Now, some persons would have negative 1t, you can do so, but I'm just going to have minus t plus 3 equal 0. Now I'm having two groups where I'm going to factor out what's common. In the first group, I can factor out t. So it means what I'm left with is t minus 3. The next group, we can factor out negative 1. So I'm left with t minus 3 equals 0. So it means what I have is t minus 1 and t minus 3 equals 0. So having them as two groups, so t minus 1 on the outside, and then t minus 3 is a bracket that is being repeated, and the order doesn't matter. So we could have t minus 3 first and then t minus 1. So equate to be equal to 0, so we have t minus 1 equals 0, and t minus 3 equals 0. 
So solving, carrying the negative 1 over the equal sign, so it becomes positive 1, and carry the negative 3 over the equal sign, so it becomes positive 3. However, remember 3 to the power x represents t, and I'm solving for x, so I have to replace what is t. So we're not through, we need to replace what is t. So replacing t equal 1, t to be 3 to the x, so I have t equal 1. So replacing t, we have 3 to the power x equal 1. From indices, we need to make the bases to be the same. So we know that 1 can be changed to any base. So here I'm changing it to 3 to the power 0. It's coming from the rule a to the power 0. Drop the base, so it means x is equal to 0. Now, where we have t minus 3 equals 0, so t equals 3, we change t to be 3 to the power x equals 3 to the 1. Drop the base, so here we have x is equal to 1, and that is it. x equals 0, and x is equal to 1. Let's look at the final example. Here we have 2 to the 2x plus 1. A little bit different. However, it's not complicated. It's using the laws of indices. Let me remind you which rule I'll be using. a to the n times a to the power m is equal to a to the n plus m. So this rule we're moving in the reverse here. So 2 to the x, 2x plus 1 is the same thing as 2 to the 2x multiplied by 2 to the 1. Now replacing 2 to the power 2x as 2 to the x in bracket and then the 2 outside. 2 to the 1 is the same thing as 2. So I can even rewrite this as 2 open bracket 2 to the power x all square and it's still the same thing as 2 to the power 2x plus 1. So replacing this here we have 2 up to the power x in brackets then we have the square, then the 2 in front, minus 17 in bracket, 2 to the power x, plus 8, equal 0. So just as before, we're going to replace 2 to the power x with a letter. I'll be choosing a different letter, so I'm going to choose y. And I'm just choosing different letters to show you that you don't have to use the same letters. But you're using a letter other than the variable that we're solving for, which is x, just to ensure we don't have any confusion. So replacing 2 to the power x, because we have a 2 in front of the bracket, it becomes 2y squared. And the next part to replace, so we have 17 and 2 to the power x become y plus 8 equals 0. Here we have a quadratic, so we need to multiply 2 times 8, so that gives us 16, so it's two numbers that multiply to give us 16, and add to give the center, which is negative 17. So the two factors are negative 1 and negative 16, remember the order doesn't matter. So even though I have negative 1 and negative 16, you could have written negative 16 and negative 1. So after having the two factors, we replace the center. So I'm going to have minus y, but you can have minus 1y, minus 16y, plus 8 equal 0. So we always replace the center with the factors. Now, having them in two groups... We look at what can be factored out. As you can see, I'm factoring out a y. 
So what is left is 2y minus 1. Same, what can we factor out of the next bracket? It's negative 8. So what is left is the same thing, which is 2y and negative 8 divided by positive 8. That's negative 1. Remember, there's a video on quadratic, so you can revisit that if you need to have more, more practice on quadratic. So the two brackets we have is y minus 8 and 2y minus 1 equal, equals 0. So what we're going to do is solve for y, the unknown. So we have y minus 8 equals 0 and 2y minus 1 equals 0. So carry the negative 8 over the equal sign. So we have y is equal to positive 8. 2y. Carrying the negative 1 over the equal sign. So we have positive 1. So 2y equal positive 1. Divide both sides by 2. So this cancels. So y is equal to Aha. Now remember we're not through because y represents 2 to the power x. So where I have y equal 8, I have to replace it with 2 to the power x. So y equal 8, so let me have this. So replacing the y with 2 to the power x. So you have 2 to the power x equal a, which is the same thing as 2 to the 3. So getting the base to be the same, you laws of indices, bases are the same. So we can drop the base. So x is equal to 3. We'll be doing the same thing where we have y equal a half. So for y equal a half, we replace y to be 2 to the power x. A half is the same thing as 2 to the negative 1. So I'm getting them to be the same base. So I replace half with 2 to the minus 1. Now that I have the same base, I drop the base. So x is equal to negative 1. So here we have the answer. x is equal to 3 and x is equal to negative 1. Thanks for watching guys and I hope you enjoy. Please watch the other videos on indices and there are other topics that you can view. Have a great day.